Hello, this is Darren McCulley with Professional Control Corporation. Today, I'm going to show you how to commission a Siemens S210 drive using Siemens Start Drive version 15.1 in TIA portal, and it will be controlled using a 1500 PLC. So first, I'm going to go to configure a device and add a new device and then add my PLC, so controllers. CPU 1511TF is what I have, and I have firmware version 2.6, so add that. Next, I'm going to add my drive, so over here I'll click on add new device, choose drives, S210, mine's .4KW version, firmware version 5.2, which is the minimum you can have to be have, have to have the S210 in the TIA portal start drive. So okay. So then I want to go to my network view and click not assigned and then assign my drive to my PLC network. And then I want to go to topology view and connect the topology exactly how it's wired physically. So I go from X1P2 on my PLC to X150P1 on my, on my drive. Next, I want to go to the device view of the PLC, so I'll double click on it. Click on the Profinet port, go to synchronization, and I'm going to make it the sync master. So when we use isochronous real time, this is the master to the drive. And I'm going to go to the I.O. communication send clock and make that four seconds because if I keep it at one, it's too fast and I can fault my PLC. So I'm done with the PLC. So I can click, just drop down and go to the device view of my drive. Click on the Perfinet port of it. Ethernet address. I want to make it a 10 just to show you the change. And I'm going to change it to my S210 for the Profinet device name. Next, I have a Telegram, defaulted to Telegram 105, which is fine. And I need to add the motor. So I'll click on motor, give myself a little bit of room, I use the filter, I know it's a 1 FK2103-4 AG0 and it's the one with the M. I'll choose it. And then choose it there. So now we got the motor added. Um, next, that's about all I have to do with the drive, so I'll save. Then I want to add a technology object to my PLC, so I'm adding a new technology object. We make it a positioning axis. I'll rename it um, my S210 axis. OK. You can see I have a red X here, so I need to assign which drive is connected to this technology object. Click here to drive, open this up, go to drive unit one, see that. Okay, so drive unit one is here, that name there. So if I change that name, this name would be different. Now I've got green check marks, so everything seems to be okay there. So I'll highlight my PLC, compile it to make sure I don't have any errors. I'll show you, I use Pernetta to display the topology of the network. So you can use Pernetta for network analysis. You see my drive has a name, the drive unit one for the Profinet name and no Profinet address. So 
if I drive my PLC compiled fine, so no, no faults. So I will download to it. Check, select PNIE, start the search. Found the, that PLC. We'll click load. I'll choose to start the module up when it's done. <coughs> so PLC is done. Now I'll download to my drive. Choose load. <clears throat> All right, so my drive's downloaded. I can go back to Pronetta, and I can see that the PLC, because the topology is assigned my IP address correctly to my drive and the name. Go back to portal, go online with my drive. And you can see the green check mark that it's good, no faults. Go along online with my PLC. And you can see with the green check box or check mark there that it's fine and communicating with my drive. I might have an exclamation point because I don't have any type of um, password set up for my safety, which is fine for this demo. So everything's happy. Now we want to commission the drive. So tune it. So I'll double click on commissioning. I'll go to one button tuning and let me minimize these, give myself more room. So I'm going to tune the drive, activate it. Okay. Let me, I have to set a limit for the distance the drive can rotate. So I'll say 720 degrees. And I have to choose whether I want to be conservative, which would be a soft tuning standard or dynamic, which would be a stiffer tuning for dynamic applications. I'll leave it at standard. I'll click start. And my drive is tuning. You can hear it. It's done tuning and it says one button tuning was successful. So I will deactivate that. I can go to my control panel, activate my control panel, and put in a speed, and to, to go forward, you can see I'm running at 3000 RPM, stop it, go backwards, minus 3000 RPM, stop, turn it off, now my drive is tested, and ready to program. So you can see how quickly and easily it, it is to commission a Siemens S210 drive using TIA portal. Thanks for your time.